Hi, this is Anne with My Service Depot. In this video, we're going to learn how to create user-defined fields to collect additional information about our customers, jobs, and equipment inside of Smart Service. To begin, I'm going to click into Setup at the top right of my home screen. From here, I'm going to select the User Fields tab. We'll see on the left-hand side that we have several different categories. For each of these, I can enter up to 12 unique fields, whether it's a question or a label for the information I wish to collect. Let's take a look at our customer fields. Some examples of what I might collect for a customer would be an access or a gate code, the type of building or the age of building that we're going to. Has the system been upgraded? Are there any special requirements that we need to be aware of when working with this customer? We can also create job user defined fields. Compared to the customer user fields, this information may be updated or changed for every visit that we do at a customer's location. Some examples of these would be environmental conditions such as weather. Is there a follow-up required for the current visit? Or did we make any recommendations on materials or services? We can also create user fields for a customer's equipment. This would allow us to track unique information for every piece of equipment at that location. Some examples for the equipment level would be filter sizes. What is the power source? Is it gas or electric? Who has the warranty? Is it something that we offer or something that comes from the actual maker of that piece of equipment? Now that we have our user fields created, let's take a look at how they'll look inside of Smart Service. From the home screen, I'm going to go into contacts and search for a customer. We'll go ahead and look up Smith & Barry. Going into the customer, we'll say that I've got my customer fields tab right here. This label can be changed to make it more beneficial for your smart service users. We'll see inside of this tab though, all of our customer user fields, and of course the information that we've entered. If needed, these can be left blank and updated later. Otherwise, we can have them displayed on work orders or inside of iFleet. If I go into equipment, go ahead and open their furnace here. We'll see that we also have a tab for my equipment fields. And again, our listed labels. We'll see that I also have dropdowns available. This is optional. If you'd like to have preset information to select from, we can enter that and save it and have it available for later. Otherwise, we can type in unique values each time. Go ahead and save and close this. Let's go into a job now. Similar to our customer, we'll see that again, we have a tab for our user fields. This one will be called my job fields. And there's our labels along with the information that we've entered for this customer. For more tips and tricks, follow us at smartservice.com.